Hey everyone, my name is Felicia. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a pretty big Dollar Tree haul. I had a really great day at Dollar Tree. <laughs> uh, I'm very excited about it. So at the outset of this video, I will tell you guys, all Dollar Trees are not created equal. We live in a pretty populated area, so we have a lot of different Dollar Trees to choose from. If in your area you have one of the larger Dollar Trees, um, it's the ones where they have taken over closed drugstores typically, like the really big Dollar Trees. I would recommend going to that one. Usually they have the newest and higher quality and more variety item. So today I'm going to show you what I got. It's a little bit of everything. Um, so we have craft stuff, brand name makeup, cleaning stuff, one of my favorite snacks that's a dupe for one of our favorite snacks. Um, and let's see what else. Oh, we got a few toys too. So I will show y'all starting with the toys because I think I have the least amount of that. And then we will keep it rolling. Um, the home decor stuff that I got, I am seriously super, super excited about. So I can't wait to show you all that. Um, I kind of went in hard on that. <laughs> I felt a little crazy, but you guys will see why and it's totally worth it. So first off, let's do the toys. Um, they have Hatchimals at the Dollar Tree, which I thought was super cool. There were not very many of these. I remember two years ago, this was like the hot item. Um, this is obviously the mini. They didn't have any bigger ones. Um, but it's pretty cool. If you haven't seen these before, I had it until I opened this one. Um, but basically inside there's like a an egg that you can tear open. And then there is a tiny animal in it. And this is what we got. I don't know what this is supposed to be. But it's cute and purple and has wings on the back and... I'm sure would make any small child happy. Um, all of the things I'm gonna show y'all toy-wise today would be great for like a little welcome gift bag if you have guests coming over and they have a child, um, or any just small gift for nieces, nephews, friends, whatever, and for a dollar you can't go wrong. They also have quite a few blind bags. They had Transformers, which I picked up. Um, I have a Sun, which you guys might have noticed by now I talk about him a decent amount um, but these transformers ones I thought were great it says there are six to collect and actually on the front it says Megatron so I wonder if that's who you actually get now I'm curious but I want to save it so that he can open it I'll let you know if that's what ends up being in it which would be surprising for a blind bag because typically they don't tell you what's inside so anyway, I thought that was really cool. And then I also grabbed one of these. This is a Dollar Tree staple. They always have these pretty much. Um, this is Squirt from Finding Nemo. They have a ton of these Disney minifigures. They don't move or anything. Um, they just, you know, kind of sit there. But they're super cute. They pretty much always have Finding Nemo, um, Monsters, Inc., Incredibles. They have been having superheroes lately, like Batman, Superman type stuff and then Nickelodeon things too and Universal Studios um, they usually have minions even Gru which I think is hilarious they have a mini figure of him um, and all the little minions and then also some classic Nickelodeon shows like Hey Arnold um, so if your kids are into just having you know little toys to play with these are great one caution I will give is they're not all equal in that sometimes there'll be an imperfection like this one that I picked up it looks great but some of them especially the ones that are people the eyes will be misplaced um, so just kind of look at the paint and see what the actual one you're picking up looks like and then choose accordingly um, from that but look he's so cute you guys will probably see him living back here I would say by my next video he will be back here in case you can't tell I like Disney a little all right, so moving on from toys next, I'm going to really quickly show you a snack that we love. Um, I might have showed y'all this before. I don't know, but typically I grab this when I go to Dollar Tree because they're really good. It's these uh, fudge mint cookies. They taste exactly like Girl Scout Thin Mints and they're a dollar. So I highly recommend these. They seriously 
taste just like Girl Scout cookies, pop them in the freezer, same deal, they are great. So these are awesome. If you see them, pick them up. Um, let's do crafts next. All right, we'll go with crafts. Um, so I've been finding pretty good tape lately. I grabbed this washi tape. I've started doing kind of more um, journaling, trying to be more organized and that kind of thing. So I thought this one was great. It comes with three. I absolutely love this blue one here. It's a dark blue with like a gold leaf inlay. And then you've got the cactus one there and then that pattern one right there. I think for a dollar for three, you really can't beat it. So I like that a lot. And then I also found another Heidi Swap, kind of like that metallic glittery tape. Um, in my last video, I think I showed you guys a green one, but this one is pink. So I thought that was pretty great. And again, name brand, it's awesome. And then I also grabbed this guy. I love sea turtles. Sea turtles are my favorite. And I recently um, got a Bob Ross coloring book. It's basically a lot of his old paintings and you can color them. I know a lot of people do this for stress relief. Um, so this I thought was a really cute one to pick up from Dollar Tree and you have the little turtle there and it's really a lot of animals um, and nature type scenes. Got a fountain, like forest scenes I'm thinking. That is a mermaid type person. So anyway. I thought that was really cute the adult coloring book nice to have for a dollar and then um, I got some yarn I do not knit or crochet I wish I could but I cannot but my mom does and since she has not been going out I have been trying to send her care packages now and then of different things so I'm gonna send this her way it's a decent amount of yarn for a dollar I feel and it's glittery and like fuzzy. Um, I feel like it's a good winter color and a good winter texture. So I'm gonna send this to her. It is sparkle yarn, 100% polyester. Um, and it's three ounces, 145 yards. So I'm not sure how much stuff that would make. Hopefully a hat. I don't know, you crafters out there could tell me, but I'm gonna send that her way and I think she'll be pretty happy with it. And then I also grabbed this was new. I hadn't seen this before at Dollar Tree, but they had these rolls of felt. So typically um, at Walmart and even at Dollar Tree previously, you could buy felt in small squares. But this is a whole roll, which I thought was great. It is 11.75 inches by 48 inches. So it's a decent amount. Um, and I like to have it around the house for crafts, of course, but also for magnets on the fridge, sometimes they're kind of rough on the edges, so I will put a piece of felt on the back of the magnet. It still sticks to the fridge just fine, but it won't scratch your fridge, so it's probably what I'll be using that for. Um, I believe that is it on the crafts. I will show you all this um, just kind of practical item I grabbed, and I use these. It's a screen guard, and I found that they work pretty well. I drop my phone a lot, unfortunately, and these have definitely been a lifesaver. You just stick it on and it's great um, for shatter resistance and the touch screen still works perfectly fine. So I highly recommend those. They have for all different kinds of phones, phone sizes, that sort of thing. Okay, let's do cleaning and then we'll get on to some more fun stuff. We'll do cleaning really quick. All right, so. As far as cleaning goes, I did grab some microfiber towels um, for cleaning. I've been using these a lot more, and it's just great to have them around the house. They do a really good job on granite, even on your floors and stuff. Um, they come two to a pack, and of course it's a dollar, so 50 cents a piece. Pretty good. Uh, you can also get these pretty cheaply on Amazon. You can get them cheaper than 50 cents a piece if you buy in larger quantities, like 24. But I didn't want 24, I just wanted a couple. Um, so I got a light blue and a dark blue. And this one, they are different sizes. This one is 13.75 uh, by 13.75, and this one is 11 by 11. But I will tell you, this one is a lot softer. 
so I might do these for counters and things and these more floor and heavier duty stuff. So anyway, to me, goodbye. But like I said, you can get these cheaper per towel on Amazon if you want them in bulk. But I really don't need 24 towels, so I just got four. All right, so we got that. And then I also grabbed this guy um, for grout, which I'm very excited about. So I'll use this. And it's got a nice grippy handle on it. And then the bristles, they're pretty, pretty uh, stiff. <laughs> but I think it will be great for grout. And the brand on it is Quickie Tile and Grout Brush Antimicrobial Product Protection. So it says, microband technology is built into the fibers during manufacturing, so it provides continuous protection that won't wash off or wear away for the life of the product. So that's pretty cool. And I hadn't seen these at Dollar Tree before, so I thought that was great. And then I grabbed another one of these guys. Um, these are awesome. I have one under the sink, and I use it at night. I clean the sink each night with um, vinegar and baking soda and I just do a nice scrub with this. Um, they're great to have around and it's only a dollar so once it wears out or if you clean something gross with it and you don't want to keep it you don't have to feel too bad. So anyway these are great. Uh, the brand is Scrub Buddies and that's it in the cleaning. So now we will do um, home decor because I'm super excited and I don't want to wait any longer. Um, Okay, so, I'm trying to decide where to start. They had so much cute stuff. All right, we'll start with this guy. Um, this is a cute desk calendar, and it's one of the ones where it's got the blocks in it for the month and the date, and succulents in the background, and you just switch that out, and then <laughs> anybody else lately, um, being home so much, I have no idea what the date is, uh, so I think that will be helpful. And it'll probably hang out on our counter or on the desk or something like that. So I thought that was super, super cute. And it says, thankful for this day. So I thought that was great. And this also super cute. It is a little sign and it says, be our guest. And it has a spot where you can put the Wi-Fi password. So I thought that was great. We have a similar sign um, in our living room but I will probably put this in the actual guest room so that people have it handy whenever they need it. So I thought that was really cute. It's really sturdy. You can hang it. Um, goodbye, in my opinion. Okay, so next is, I think, super awesome. Um, and I kind of can't believe that they had it, and it was a dollar, and I bought one of each. All right, let's see if I can do this. Can you guys see that? Um, I love these. So they are solid wood, each one of them, and they're painted and they're kind of like that rustic-y, shabby chic kind of look. Um, but we will start here. This blue one, I love the color and the design on it, and it says, live what you love. And like I said, it's just, it's not plastic, it's not hollow, it's like real, solid wood so I thought this was great and then another one it's the little things in life it's black and it's got the palm fronds there um, same super solid a dollar and then the next one enjoy the ride this one be great for spring decor um, I really like the green of it and the font is great the bikes are super cute um, love it. Hopefully you guys can see the whole thing. And then the last one, this one is probably my least favorite, but I got it anyway. <laughs> um, it's wild at heart. I like it. I like them all very much, but this is probably the one I like the least. It's, um, got this little geometric type design here, wild at heart. It's cute. It is cute. I have to say, I think of the four... Live what you love, maybe? And it's more the colors, I think, that I like so much. And then Enjoy the Red, I just think is super cute, too. So, yeah, these are all great. I felt, I almost felt bad when I went to the register. I was like, yeah, I feel crazy buying all four of these. And the lady at the register said, um, I bought all four, too. So, anyway, these were great. I would say run. 
run and grab these because they're awesome. And basically I'm just gonna switch them out each season to something different on my little um, entryway table. So I'm super, super excited about those. I think that's it on the home decor. Um, really quick, I'm gonna show you guys these because they are name brand and it's hot as heck outside. Uh, these frog togs, these are name brand. Um, basically, they are a chilling towel. You wet it and you put it on your neck and you go outside and supposedly they keep you very cool. It says the original cooling towel. Um, we are definitely gonna have to try these out. I think next time I'm doing yard work and that kind of thing, which is gonna be today. Um, I will definitely give these a use. Uh, so they had two colors. They had green and pink. I got the green. And it says, instantly cools up to 30 degrees, provides hours of cooling relief, durable, washable, reusable, um, UPF 50 plus UV protection. More dur durable and cools twice as long. And the size is 3 inches by 29 inches. So if you guys have used these before, let me know in the comments and let me know what you think. They had a lot. Um, and I've seen them at two separate stores, so I'm thinking everybody probably has these. So if it's something you're interested in, you live in a hot climate, Go out and grab you some. All right, final thing. <clears throat> we are gonna do a rapid fire beauty section. This item is not necessarily beauty, but to me it kind of falls into the same thing. It's fashion tape. I was pretty excited to see this because I have been needing some, and they had it at Target, but a similar size pack at Target is $6, and I didn't really wanna pay that um, when I could just kind of use double stick tape at home myself. Um, but this fashion tape, it says there's 14 pieces, which for me will last me an eternity, I'm sure, but just a dollar. So I thought that was a really good buy. I also grabbed this Jade facial roller. I already have one of these myself, but I figured I would send it to my mom and like that little care package I was telling you guys about. Um, but it says it relaxes facial muscles and nerves, reduces wrinkles, speeds up blood circulation, tightens skin's elasticity. So basically you just roll it on your face. It's pretty nice, so you can keep it in the fridge. Would recommend. All right, and this guy is a silicone facial mask applicator. I grabbed this because I use that um, Aztec clay face mask. And basically you mix it yourself with apple cider vinegar or water and then you know you put it on your face obviously um, but you're not supposed to use any metal utensils with it so I always mix it with a spatula and then I just use like a giant spatula to put it on my face but this would be so much nicer it's much more appropriately sized for your face than a kitchen spatula so I'm excited to start using that and they have these e.l.f. Um, color correcting sticks. This one is for dark circles. It's like an orangish tone. Um, I will definitely use that. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have um, chronic dark circles. They're called allergic shiners. It's from allergies, but I've always had horrible dark circles and I can like manage it by taking Claritin every day, but I don't really want to do that, so I just cover them up. Um, so anyway, this looks great. I'm definitely going to use that. And then they also had the green one uh, to color correct red. And I will try all this stuff out and let you guys know what I think, kind of like I did with the last beauty haul. And then, onto the name brand stuff, I found these Maybelline um, light liner for your tear line again. I hauled these a few videos ago and I reviewed them one or two videos ago in my beauty review. I love these. So I found them again and I grabbed two of them because I'm wearing it right now. I love it. It really does work. They're like a gold tone um, and they have some shimmer to it and I was very skeptical that it was going to work but they work great. So if you see these at your Dollar Tree, absolutely grab them because they're awesome. Um, and then I also found this Revlon Color Stay Brow Mousse. It looks like it has a wand. Revlon One Twist Brow Styler, and it says it wears for up to 24 hours, and it's in an auburn color. So that looks pretty great. I'm always looking for a new brow, especially for a dollar. Right now I'm using a Tarte um, 
brow brush and it definitely costs more than a dollar. So I'm excited to try that. Again, I'll let you guys know how it goes. And then also, um, for the first time I found hard candy. I know people have been talking a lot about finding hard candy at Dollar Tree and I had not seen it yet, but I found quite a bit of it. Um, so I'll show you guys what I got. This is a matte blush and bronzer duo and that's what the packaging looks like. And then you can actually open it which I thought was super cool, and it's but it's still sealed, which is really ideal when you're talking about makeup. So that packaging to me is just awesome. The colors look good, um, and that's the back. So a brush and a blonder, a blonder, a bronzer, name brand, for a dollar. Um, and it has even a little brush in it and a mirror, which you guys probably saw, but I hadn't noticed yet. So yeah, that looks great. And then I also grabbed this um, eyeshadow quad palette and I love purple eyeshadow and this is obviously a lot of purples and then it has this little cushioning part here which is really cool and the number on this is 720 and it's called under the moon um, and on the back it shows you where to put each color which I love I kind of need that help and this also is sealed I'm gonna see if I can take it off really quick and open it up. But I love that when the stuff is actually still sealed. It makes me happy. Um, ooh. All right, so you open it up, and that's what it looks like. And you've got two little applicators there and a mirror up here. So yeah, I'm very excited to try that. It is really shimmery, uh, which I don't typically do a ton of shimmer on my eyes, but I'm absolutely willing to try it, so I'm very excited about that. I think that's it. Yes, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. My next video is going to be all about preparedness. Obviously, there has been a lot of craziness going on and it's important to be prepared for different things. I also have always lived in an area that is hurricane prone, so we're always kind of in a prep mode especially in the summer right now when it is hurricane season so I want to show you guys some budget things you can grab at Dollar Tree one that are super affordable um, that you can definitely use and then also just some good tips on stuff to have on hand just in case there's a disaster or something like that and Dollar Tree is also great because it's a place where a lot of people don't look to find those items so certain things that maybe out at Walmart or Target they still will have at Dollar Tree because people just don't think to look there so that'll be my next video and I will see you guys soon thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it please like and subscribe for more haul videos and frugal living tips all right thanks guys have a great day